Welcome back guys to Pops Helpful Tips and today what we're going to do is fit some such back lights to a pan European here. Um, these have introduced me by a good friend called Lev and they're awesome bulbs. What are switch backs I hear you ask? Well, they're these. It's a very special clever bulb. Uh, it's an LED bulb and it lights up orange when you put your indicators on. Always useful. And when you turn your indicators off, it turns white. So we can have nice white lights, be seen in the daytime, and have our range. Why have we gone for these? Well, we've got some nice spots on the um, Virago, but on this I think they look ugly, because you can see what they look like. Just wouldn't suit the lines of this particular bike. So, hence why we've gone these. One thing we have to do, though, is fit clear indicator lenses. So we'll show you how this is done as well. So we're going to place these orange ones with the white ones, then we get a nice white light and then the orange ones we're indicating. And while we go to strip down, we're going to fit these onto the dashboard. Uh, nice white LEDs make dashboard a lot clearer at night to see. Okay, so uh, let's make a start and see what we're going to do. Okay, so we need to take off the mirror covers so we can get to obviously changing the lenses. Really, really simple. Put your thumb at the lower part of the rear of the mirror front or front of the mirror, if you look at this one, push down slightly and it releases the clip and then just carefully unhook the clips. And you can see there the two pins um, which hold it at the back and the one pin which we pull down to release out the peg. Slightly unplug the loom. The little release catch just there. Bit of piggly to get your thumb on, but uh, press the release catch down and then you can unplug it. Now, as you can see, we can unscrew the uh, indicator and see about changing the lens. Okay, so here's our mirror now. So uh, you can see our orange lens, that's what we want to change to white. Now we have to take out the housing. Now there's four screws, we've got one here, one there, one there, and one there. Now, you have to be really careful with these screws because they can seize and stick. And when you unscrew them, you actually snap the plastic, which is never a good look. Um, you can see there's a little bit of rust on them where the weather's got to them. So when we put them back in, we'll put a small dab of grease just on, the, on them, stop them to help them from seizing up. I'll do that one. And then finally number four, just here. There we go, and we can lift the indicator out of the housing now. Put the housing safe. Okay, now the one thing that we're gonna have to get a replacement for is this foam. As you can see, the foam is broken up, stuck to the glass, so we're going to have to peel that off there. Uh, it's just simply a weather strip to stop a lot of the water as you're travelling along going into the back of your mirror where your connections are. So uh, we'll pull that off there, and then uh, we'll see about getting these in soak and getting the lens off. So this part you've got to be very careful with. Um, obviously, hot water. And hands don't really mix, but we're going to use hot water. We took the bulb out, I'm just going to fill up inside the unit with hot water to let them soak so that you can see that. I'm the light out here. Let them soak and warm up. Let me just pour some water around them. And what hopefully that will do is soften the glue so that when we come to taking the lenses off, the lens will come off nice and easy and make life a lot easier to replace them with orange. Again, danger, hot water. Okay, so while um, the mirrors are warming up um, to soften the lenses, we have to take the screen off and the this middle pan because we need to get in. 
Now the screen's held on by a pair of screws. I've undone the screws. You've got simple screws like this. So pop those in your pot, keep them safe, and then we can lift the screen off. Being careful not to crack it. Now you'll notice I've got some wires here. These wires you won't have in yours unless you fit the dash cam. Um, I have this little device here, little dash cam, so it records the front and rear of the bike as I'm travelling along. Okay, so we put the screen safe out of the way so we don't get broken, and then we have to remove this belly pan here. Again, a couple of screws to the sides and one in the middle there. And then that just pops out. There's a little bit of a clip. Um, the bit you saw drop down there is a little rubber link. Keep those because that's where your windscreen attaches to, so you're going to need those. Keep the screws again and safely in the pot. Okay, and then finally, this panel. So simply just four screws as with the other panel. And I've got a slight difference because I've got my little pad here, so I'll have to bend it slightly down to unstick it. There we go. And there we are, the wiring at the back of the dashboard. So this is where we can now attach our mirrors. We can come through here little hole inside there to bring our wire and proof our switchbacks and also we get to the bulbs change the dashboard bulbs to the LED hence why doing two jobs at the same time so to give you an idea uh, rev counter we've already changed and the speedo we haven't yet and you can see the difference it makes to having the LED bulbs into your clocks it gives it a really modern clean nice bright look so you can see the clocks easier when you're riding along at night. Right, it's really simple to do. Um, so we'll show you on the speeder now. So we've got the back of the clock here. These lights here are your idiot lights, as we call them, on top of the dashboard. If you look on the back of the clock, you can see here, there's the one that we changed, the web counter. Put it out, see a nice little ice blue. So we just simply push that in. Like so, and there's our other one. Now this one is for speeder. You can see there, very dull, not very bright. So put that in there. Now with LED bulbs, they only work one way around. So if you put the bulb in and it doesn't light up, that one lights up. But if you turn it around, look, see what happens. It doesn't light up. So if that happens, just simply turn the bulb around push it back in so it lights up and then a little bit tricky but just feed it back into the hole on which it came out and that is literally how easy it is to change them and this is why we're changing them why we've got the these panels off to do the mirrors uh, for the switchbacks might do the dashboard bulbs at the same time rather than come all the way down here again and strip all this out. Right, so just got the lens out of the hot water. You see the ones in there are still soaking. So now we need to soften the glue up. So now, I like this tool. Um, it's actually a panel removing tool, but it's really easy to spread the load because the last thing you want to do is break the housing. And you can see now the lens... It's coming out. You can see the old glue there. As you get so far, you can then prise it apart. And just run around breaking the glue. You can see the glue there, look. That's the old glue. Then we just actually break the glue. Then we can pull the lens 
off the housing without breaking the housing. You can see these pieces here. These are actually like little clips. Um, which is where the glue goes in. So just ease it up. And then pull the ends out. Just like that. And there we go. The lens now unstuck so I'm going to clean all this up and then uh, we can see about putting the white lenses on here so we've got nice white lenses instead of hobo yucky orange lenses right now to put the new lenses onto the housing uh, we need to bond them back on you can use super glue but this can also be very messy because the last thing you want is glue to be all over here so take a picture of your pound shop and buy one of these little heat gun comes with a couple of glue sticks more than enough what you need to glue that back on there so uh, get the cellophane peeled off now get these stuck on start with assemble and then show you the wiring system to get the white lights to do what it should do uh, once it's all fitted together fingers crossed okay so i'm gonna look at bonding that onto there so just push it on loosely initially, make sure it all lines up, all fits. So what we do now, take our glue gun and we just put some squirts. You'll be fairly quick with this because this glue will go cold and then you've got to scrape all the glue back out to do it. And then we just line that up. We've got our line up tags at the top and bottom. We just make sure they line up and pop in. Don't be worried about applying a bit of pressure. The plastic will check it. And there we go. One lens glued on back onto there. Just squish it a little bit more till the glue goes off. But there we go. It is done. And that is literally how easy it is to change the lenses. Right, so there we go guys, nice white lenses now, all fitted and looking good. Uh, really makes the bike look a lot newer than it is now with the white side lights. Um, but I fit the switch backs and we'll show you how to do the wiring now for that. So then this will light up orange, an indicator and a lovely white bright side light. Um, so people hopefully see the bike coming down the road. So we'll go back over to the bike now and show you how to do the wiring for these. Okay, so now our indicators are all ready to go back on the bike. We need to get this sorted out so we can put these in. So all we do, if we have a look inside the box, always nice opening box and see what we've got. Okay, so inside the box we have this. See, the, there's our two new LED bulbs. Uh, the, because these are LED, we come with preload resistors. So this means that your standard flash unit will work um, on the LEDs. So there's lots of little problems with the LEDs not working right. Okay now with these bulbs um, I chose this particular kit because it's a very clever piece of kit. So this one, put that over there so we don't drop them. Take the plastic band off. Right so there's our two lights. Okay. Now these lights are really clever because that bit plugs into your old indicator base unit so there's no modification of the wiring whatsoever just simply plug that in where you put the bulb push that in where it would then fit into the back of the light unit and then that one we attach to our side lights but in my case on this bike I'm actually going to attach it to the ignition which means that these will come on straight away with the ignition so I don't have to have the main high beam on or low beam um, which will save some battery power on the bike. So uh, let's get wiring. Okay, guys, so our switchbacks come with our side light wire. See, those two go through where the mirrors will be. That one pre fused, ready to load onto the supply. Now, remember I said earlier I've got my camera on here. 
So what I'm going to do is tap into my ignition line for the camera, because my camera comes on as soon as the ignition started, uh, which means that my side lights will come on straight away with the ignition. If you want these to come on with your lights, so you've got some controllability over them, remember the dashboard lights are changing? Just tap into there to supply that, and that would be more than enough to supply the LEDs on these uh, without overloading the circuit, so you haven't got to go hunting around. If you want to go easier, just down there behind the headlight, you will find the side light bulb, um, which is down here, so also you can tap into that as well. Um, so it's not a million miles away for the wiring. The only awkward one will be is if you're going for the ignition, because I have to bring the ignition system right the way back from there, all the way forward up to here, um, to get a good supply, which I can load on. So uh, we'll get this wired in and see what happens. Okay, now switchbacks come with a spare base. Uh, it might look like a spare base initially, but if you look, the pins on this one are offset from this one to in line. Um, the, on the ST1100, the pins for the indicator are in line. So we need to change this base for this base. Now it's really, really easy, uh, as long as you've got a soldering iron. So watch you don't burn your fingers. We just sweat that solder off there first. And then the centre wire will pull straight out, just like that. Then you'll notice there's two little tags around the outside of solder. So all we do, slight bit of pressure. We're just sliding your nail into there. Just like that. And then just simply touch the soldering iron onto it and it falls off like that. Really, really easy. Now, with the new one, um, the problem you've got at the moment is this has got a strange uh, lacquer on it. So, give it a bit of a rub onto the Emicroft, just so you can see now it's changing colour, just so we get this nice dull brassy colour, just like that. And that would be ideal for soldering. So, remember to feed the wire through that little hole first. Now just push it in. And then up through the centre. And it won't stick out far, but enough that when you put the soldering iron sold on, it will grip it. So load up the iron and then just fill the top back up your solder. So you get a nice little bubble tip, just like that. Then all we've got to do is solder this plate onto it. And again, we just pull down so it touches like that. So once you've done that one, just grip that because what we need to do is solder the base back on. So load up our iron, and then simply. solder back around the edge where we just took it off and the same on the other side the idea of using the pliers is a lot less heat on your fingers Base is swapped over, so that is now ready to plug into our indicator unit. So, the one thing to check now is that this still works. So, all we do, our newly acquired base, we just simply plug in as you would your indicator. And here's the little line that we put in earlier for our side lights. So, we push that onto there, that simple. Now, all we do, switch the ignition on. Nice bright white light. So we switch the indicators on, and just like magic, it flashes orange. Turn the indicators off, ah, goes white again. So uh, now we know that, that works. Um, oh, turn that off. Now we know that works. All we need to do now is assemble all of this back together and see what our finished look is. And um, you don't need to see this bit. So what we'll do. Oh. <laughs> 
Well, with a little bit of magic. Are you ready? Kisses, beauty of cameras. One, two, three. Just like that, Wonder the Magic Pops TV. It's finished. Look at that. How good does that look? White indicators, notice. I can hear you asking now, does it work? Well, here we go. So just switch the ignition on. How clear is that now? Nice, bright, white LEDs. Your little tinkly sound you might have heard, by the way, is my camera coming up. Now we switch the indicators on. Switches to orange. Stop the indicator. Straight back to white. And the same on the other side. See? So it gives the bike now that real modern clean look. Nice bright white set lights so everybody can see me coming. So that is literally how easy it is to put switchbacks onto your bike and make it look ace okay. Cheers for watching guys.